Hey folks, if you'd like to support me or this channel, Moose University, in creating more video tutorials, then please consider making a financial contribution at my website, MoofUniversity.com. Thanks and enjoy the video. In this video, I really don't want it to take too long. I just want to give you a little bit of information about galactolipids and sulfolipids and give you an example of how one might look. So, from before the membrane lipids, we saw that we had gal galactolipids and sulfolipids that have a glycerol backbone, two fatty acid tails, and a carbohydrate portion. Um, and if that carbohydrate portion has a sulfate group attached to it, it's a sulfolipid. If not, it's a galactolipid. Um, th there is uh, thought that this is the the most prevalent, most prevalent type of membrane lipid. It's the most abundant, and it's found mostly in plant cells. Plant cells, specifically in the thylakoid membrane, uh, the thylakoid membranes of chloroplast chloroplasts okay. so how might one of these look well of course we have the glycerol backbone and the two fatty acid tails and then we have to have a carbohydrate portion so I've drawn one here and you should if you've studied carbohydrates you should be able to recognize this sugar it is do you want to guess? Maybe it is galactose. It is galactose. So hence, hence galactolipids. Okay. Um, so this is what a galactolipid might look like. And if you wanted a sulfolipid, you would just replace the CH2OH portion, the CH2OH portion, which is this portion up here. Right. You would replace that with a sulfate group that would look like this. So basically, instead of CH2OH, you'd have CH2SO3-. So that's kind of how a sulfolipid would look and how a galactolipid would look. So I hope that video was helpful, or at least somewhat interesting, and I'm glad it was kept brief. Thanks for watching. Yo, if you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content, and if you know anybody who might find the videos helpful, then please share it with them. Thanks, happy studying.